Hey, welcome back to Pulse Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're cooking up some delicious bacon, chicken, buffalo ranch sliders on the kettle grill, and these are absolutely delicious. They're perfect for your next game day feast, and so I hope you give them a try. Other than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Today at the grill, I'm gonna be cooking up these delicious bacon, chicken, buffalo ranch sliders. And these things are absolutely perfect for any game day uh, festivities, whether it's football, hockey, or what have you. These are simple to make, cost effective, and best of all, they don't take a lot of time, which means you're not gonna be wasting a lot of time cooking versus watching uh, whatever game it is. So to get started with this recipe, I do have some chicken breast as well as some bacon, hence the name bacon chicken buffalo ranch and so that means I have some buffalo sauce some ranch dressing and then I have some green onions some butter and garlic and then lastly I have some Hawaiian king roll slider buns and these are absolutely uh, delicious the best thing to use when it comes to making sliders like this and so when it comes to preparing our chicken first of all this is the first thing that needs to get onto the grill and I'm using three chicken breasts today for this recipe if you want to sub that out for some chicken thighs go for it uh, but for the preparation the only thing I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm going to season it uh, with some barbecue rub and today I'm going to be using my pulse of barbecue chicken rub uh, because this is my go-to every single time when it comes to chicken and so just place that uh, over the chicken breast flip those over make sure we get all the nooks and crannies there All right, that looks pretty good to me. And so, like I said, this doesn't take a lot of time to prepare. Uh, the chicken breasts are seasoned, the bacon needs to go on the grill and cook away, uh, but really everything else is ready to go. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the chicken breasts onto the grill at that 275 degree uh, temperature. And I did already go ahead and prepare the grill for cooking. And let me show you just how I set it up. So to set up our grill today for cooking, I placed in about 20 briquettes into the Sloan Sear and I got those coals fully lit. Next, I filled up the remainder of the Sloan Sear basket until it was about three quarters of the way full. And then after that, I closed the lid and let our temperatures come up to around 275 degrees. All right, so with my grill set up for cooking around 275 degrees, uh, let's go ahead and get these chicken breasts onto the grill opposite the coals. There we go. I'm also going to grab uh, my bacon strips. And today for this recipe, I'm using about four strips of bacon. I'm just going to place that directly onto uh, the grill grates as well. And there we go. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of hardwood. And today I'm going to be using some cherry wood. I'm going to add that into the coals uh, just to add a little bit of extra smoky flavor. Get that directly over those coals. And then with everything on the ground, I'm going to close up this lid. And like I said, I'm going to be cooking these today at around 275 degrees until the chicken comes up to 160 so that it can rest up to about 165 degrees, uh, which is going to be a perfect cook for the chicken breast. Also with the bacon, I'm just going to continue to monitor it. It's probably going to take around the same time as the chicken breast, uh, but if it does need a little more time, I can throw it directly over those coals just to crisp it up a little bit. But uh, we'll come back when the chicken breast is uh, fully cooked. Okay, so the chicken breast and the bacon have been cooking for about an hour and 15 minutes now. And I did go ahead and I did probe them to see if they're up to temperature. And they're all sitting around the 160 degree mark. So I do wanna show you what they do look like before I take them off the grill. And guys, so just take a look at that. You can see there's some nice color that's forming on the chicken breast as well as the bacon. So I'm gonna remove everything from the grill as I do wanna let everything just sort of rest for a few minutes before I start chopping it up uh, to make the sliders. Now 
There we go. And so at this point, I do want to start to make uh, my butter that I'm going to drizzle on top of the sliders after it's all put together. So I got up my cast iron pan. I'm going to place this onto uh, the edge of the, the Sloan's here uh, where the heat is. And then I'm going to take uh, about half a stick of butter. I'm going to place this directly into that skillet. And I'm also going to take uh, three cloves of minced garlic and place that into uh, my skillet as well. go and then I'm just gonna mix it all together and I'm gonna let the butter and the garlic simmer just for 10-15 uh, seconds or so We're going to remove from the heat and just let that butter uh, kind of cool down a little bit uh, because I do still have to uh, slice my Hawaiian king rolls as well as the chicken. I'm also going to close up the grill lid uh, just to help uh, maintain that uh, lower temperature of around, it's probably going to be around 300 degrees now. And so I got my Hawaiian king rolls. I'm just going to slice it in half. There we go, you can see they're cut in half. And then now I'm also going to uh, just chop up uh, my chicken breasts. And what I'm looking for is kind of uh, just cubed up. So essentially I'm looking for, you know, something about this thick here. I can get this into my dish. Last, I'm gonna chop up my bacon and just take a look at that. You can see it's firmed up quite a bit. Uh, it's got some extra smoky flavor. It's got a bit of a crunch to it. And so I'm gonna slice this up. You get that into the mix as well. All right, so from here is now all about just blending together all these different flavors uh, and incorporating our sauces. And so I have about a cup of Frank's Red Hot Buffalo sauce. Just gonna pour that in. And then I have about a half a cup of ranch dressing. And like I said, this is gonna go in as well. Yes, this smells so good already. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly just mix this together. All right, guys, just take a look at that. You can see all of those sauces are just blended really nicely. And so the only thing left to do is to actually build uh, the sliders. And so I'm gonna grab my Hawaiian King rolls and just be careful. Some of these have broken off, but that's okay. Just gonna remove them. And I'm gonna start off by uh, laying down a little bit of this jalapeno Havarti cheese. And then I'm gonna grab my bacon, chicken, buffalo ranch mixture, and I'm gonna place that onto uh, the slider buns. And I may not need to use all of it, but I'm gonna get on as much of it as I can. And then to that, I do have uh, some chopped up uh, green onions. I'm gonna place these on top as well. It's gonna add a little bit of extra delicious flavor to this. I do know some people that don't like green onions, just skip it all together uh, or add on some pepperoncinis or something like that, uh, that you do prefer. And so on top of this, I am gonna uh, layer it again with this uh, jalapeno Havarti cheese. Then I'm gonna get that top bun back on. And then lastly, I'm gonna uh, just top it with that garlic butter. Just gonna pour that right over top. And then just lightly top it with some uh, sesame seeds. 
Guys, this looks absolutely delicious already, but it's not quite done. I do need to get it back on the grill so that the cheese has some time to melt, as well as uh, to kind of firm up and darken up the uh, outer layer, especially the top layer of the sliders before we take it off the grill and slice it up. So let's get it onto the grill. You do want to use a big spatula or if you have a tray to slide it onto the grill with uh, so that it doesn't fall apart. Trust me, I've done it before. go carefully get that back onto the grill and then I'm gonna close up this lid and like I said I'm gonna be cooking this uh, for an additional 15 minutes for uh, the cheese to melt for the top of uh, the slider buns to kind of get a bit more crispy and then at that point we're gonna come back get them off the grill and get ready for the taste test The moment we've been waiting for is here. These bacon, chicken, buffalo ranch sliders are all done. It smells absolutely incredible. Uh, I can't wait to cut into these and go for the taste test. And so one of the great things with these Hawaiian uh, rolls is that you can actually just take your knife and just slice in between them. It makes for super simple uh, sliders and that is why we use them. And so let's just cut into them. There we go. Take a look at that. The top is nice and crispy. The inside is ooey and gooey. This is going to be absolutely incredible. So let's go for the taste test. Mmm. -hmm. Oh man. That is good. Seriously. It almost doesn't get any better than this. You know, when you take that buffalo chicken flavor and bring it into sliders like this, it's a game changer. It's absolutely delicious. Mmm. -hmm. I feel like I could eat this entire slab of uh, sliders. Let's go for the taste test with the, the ranch dressing, though. Mm -hmm. This is so good, guys. You know, like I said, this is one of those recipes that's super simple to do for your next game day uh, feast with your buddies. Uh, it's simple, it's cost effective, it doesn't take a lot of time, and the results speak for themselves. Everyone that shows up is gonna absolutely love these. And if you do wanna speed up the whole process of this recipe so you don't have to smoke the chicken first uh, or spend some time uh, doing it that way, you can go into the grocery store and buy a rotisserie chicken, just break it down uh, and use that, or even go and get the pre cooked pre-sliced chicken breast and toss it in that buffalo sauce and the ranch sauce and build your sliders like this and it's only going to take you know 15 minutes of actual cooking on the kettle grill but when you take the chicken breast smoke it on the kettle uh, it's going to enhance the flavor of these sliders so if you've never done these before or have never done something similar like this uh, make sure to give it a try because you're going to love it for sure i'm going to go ahead grab this one dip it in that ranch and finish off some more of these mm-hmm that's so good, guys. These bacon, chicken, buffalo ranch sliders are absolutely delicious, and I know you're going to love them for sure, so I hope you give them a try. So until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking. <laughs>